The $106 million Hayes County Public Safety Building needs repairs after flooding caused by winter weather. It was built recently with bond money. It's even forced essential dispatchers out of their area, leaving them with no choice but to just adapt. KXAN's Jayla Washington shows us where they are now and takes a closer look at what happened to this brand new building. Tim, do you have a chief complaint? Of the high school. The calls haven't stopped yeah, and neither have the Hayes County dispatchers. They're now working out of a conference room in the government center, helping others with their disasters as they deal with their own. Hayes County Sheriff Gary Cutler tells me the problem started with maintenance on the public safety building's HVAC system on the roof. Either the hatch didn't get latched properly or something happened with the latch device and then the storm hit. The pipes froze and burst, causing flooding and a generator issue at the two-year-old building. We invested all of this money with the bond. Um, you know, how does something like this happen, even if it was an accident? It was a fluke. It could have happened anywhere. It could happen whether the building was two months old or the building was 10 years old. Cutler says no equipment was damaged, though it has been an adjustment for dispatchers. It's different because they're set up on tables over there. And the, over here, you know, they got they got all their new de the desk and equipment to surrounding them there. So Hayes County daily reports show almost 1,200 emergency calls came in last week, many winter storm related. And the sheriff says they made it work. We really didn't miss a stroke. Jayla Washington, KXAN News. Hayes County Sheriff says that they now have more secure locking devices for the HVAC system. He says he expects dispatchers to be back in their communications room by Friday. Well, this evening we're getting a better idea of how many calls Austin 911 received last week during the winter storm. From Sunday through Wednesday, that's February 14th, beginning then into Wednesday, calls to dispatchers increased more than 160% from the previous week every single day. On Monday, February 15th, Austin 911 had the highest number of calls in one day ever with a 333% increase in phone calls. That was the same day that Austin 911 saw about half of its staff miss work because of the winter weather with 72 employees just unable to get to work either because of the weather or an illness.